Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Isa Misa Polytechnic Farm. Uh, it's been a while since I made an update about my guest farm. So today I just come around to my farm and uh, I want to give my geese some salad. And, uh, actually the season is already around the corner for the breeding, breeding time. This November to early, uh, is it March or some, somewhere like that, yeah, around March. This is, this is the, the period where I give usually the eggs. So today, uh, in this short clip, I will just show you a brief on, uh, video on how I give them this salad. As you can see, I chop them into pieces. And uh, in this video, under the comment section, I want you guys to ask me some questions or some personal things you want me to address about geese farming and I will try my best as much as I can to make a uh, video, to upload a video about each topic I feel I can be able to uh, share a lot of information on this uh, poultry project. Thank you very much. Uh, you follow me now to to see how I give them. Though these ones they are a little, they are a bit aggressive so I have to be careful before I enter inside because it's been a long time since I come to visit them myself. I have uh, my farm uh, attendant that is always taking care for them even when I'm away from the country. That is how I manage my farm throughout uh, this period of time, about two years. I'm not around. I just come uh, time to time to just come to visit and then go my own way. That is how I do. So you can see the way I put I put to them. Try, just look to it. So, so this, me doing this, I will put their attention to go there so they won't bother coming to attack me. So when I enter, I will put to them. But if it is a farm attendant, they are already, already used to him. So they don't usually be aggressive to him. But me, I just come time to time. So that is why they are not usually so, uh, so, so attached to me. So you can see. kind of geese in your farm try as much as you can time to time to give them this it's a treat you give to them and they enjoy it and with this you can get to become used to them with time now that i'm back into the country with time i will be used to them they will tend to recognize my face and then we kind of build a kind of relationship so if you have them try to do this as much as you can and then together with the other feed uh, that you are giving your geese so So I need to go and cut more and give to the other the other type of the this I have about three types of here. So I need to go and give the other ones too. So I need to close this one. This one I've already given to them. So I will now come here. Just cut it into pieces. As you can see, I'm chopping it into small, small chunk. So when I give to them, they like it and they enjoy it a lot. I bought it from a local food vendor, vegetable vendor seller. I just bought it now fresh 
and I'm serving it to them for it. But with time, I will also start my own uh, small garden where I can be raising it myself. That will about uh, kind of save me a little much money that I usually used to go and buy and give them. This way, I can most of the time just give to them because they love greens. So that is why I always give, give it to them and it makes them more healthier. Even the stock, I can slice it into pieces. They can still eat it. So I don't need to even throw this one away. So, now you can see. Now I want to enter to this part. But this ones, they are a little upgrade compared to the other ones. The other ones, as you can see them, they are trying to come, they are trying to come to me, but this ones, they are running away from me. Likewise, the other part. That is how they do. When I go, they run. But if I put if I keep the food for them, they will come and eat it later. But if my farm attendant go to feed them, they usually come to him to eat because they are used to him already. So to try to build the bond, you have to come all the time to be feeding them. The more you come, the more they recognize your face and the more the, the relationship between you and your geese become more stronger so you can be more used to them so you can see this one I just want to put it you can see so, zoom a little so you can see you can see I give to them and they are eating and the other ones they are jumping trying to even go to cross there you can see them right so let me just give them a little because this ones this time they are seven here and this one I have them a lot here and the other side. So let me let me just put it to them so they can so they can be they can be different. As you can see, the other ones you see them through the net, they are trying to also come and eat the salad. Because they also love it, they like it, it is green. Give to your geese, they love it and they will become more healthy and strong all the time. Alright. Alright, let me, you see this more? So let me throw to that one. Then you see how they will act. Only this little thing. See, you see? You see the way they are running? going to eat it. So now I will go and cut more slice and then go to them and feed to them also. As you can see, I have it a lot. But today. So this, I just need to divide it to give to these ones and then go to the other side and give to the other ones also. So break this one into chunk after and after I do that 
then I will go and serve the other ones. Now they are calm. They are waiting for me to come again so they can eat this delicious uh, salad. So in case if you guys have any question or you want me to make a past a video about some certain things about this family, just write it down. I will take my time to look through the comment section and uh, I will try as much as I can to make some upload. You can easily go to my YouTube channel, Isa Musa Poultry Farm. You can see a lot of my videos there. If you like it, please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel so that you can stay uh, up to date every time I make a new update about this farming. And uh, if you want me to discuss about some some topic about this farming, how to take care of them, how to treat them in case they have any problem, how to hatch their eggs, how to do so many things, just write it down under the comment section, and I will take my time to take some video and upload it again for you guys so that you can easily see it practically not just theory I need to show you guys how I do it practically not only by theory so as you can see this is the last one that I'm putting and if you look behind you will see them they are already coming closer they are waiting for me to go and give to them please show to them you can see them right you can see them behind the wood they are waiting patiently waiting for me to come and deliver to them this delicious treat but try to observe if I enter they will try to run because they don't really know me that much If I enter, they will try to run. But when I throw to them, they eat. But if it's my farm attendant, they will easy, easily come to him and he will take them. But with time, now that I'm back to the country, I will try as much as I can to come to see them, to feed them, to give them food, so I can also build some bonding between me and my geese. So now I want to cover close the, the gate. Now I close the door. So you see them. This ones they are two years old. You see them as big as they are, they are two years old. Those ones too, the ones that I feed earlier, they are two years old. But when you look through here, there are some ones, younger ones here. These ones they are about one year old. They are about to start uh, laying this season. We are hoping by by mid of this November they will start uh, also laying some eggs. So when the breeding time comes, when we start to see them dropping some eggs, then we will separate them into the houses where we, where we put every one male or one female or every one male and two female so that we, we can have a uh, the eggs the hatchability rate to increase more so you can see let me give to them so you can see how they are you see you see the way they like it and you see the other ones there see them like cows they are very big you see them they are also trying to come because they, they love it you see now they are no longer running away they are enjoying the food so after I finish giving to them. So now, let me just put a little to this one so that I can sensitize them to know what I'm coming to do because they are running away from me. If I give to them a little, maybe they will have an idea what I'm trying to give to them. You see they are coming? Now they are kind of having a little idea of what I'm giving to them. They are coming already. So you see? So this is how I build my relationship in my farm with my geese. These types, 
These ones you see them, they are the offspring of these ones. These ones last year lay eggs and I hatch the eggs and I have these ones. And I'm hoping within this year, this month or the next, these ones too will start giving me eggs. And when they start, then I will hatch their eggs also. And then generation after generation, generation after generation. That is how the strategy on how I build my farm so big, as you can see. I have more than 60 pieces of geese in my farm. You see, I've already sensitized them. Now if I go cut, cut it, they already know what I'm coming to give to them. So they will easily come to eat. They will not run away. Can you zoom? Zoom again. So, I've already finished giving this one. So now I will go and cut the other one, then come back and give to the, to the remaining ones. I know the time has been so uh, distant due to the, this pandemic. We haven't been online because uh, there is so much to do actually, so much to catch up in the farm, and there's so much, so much research to do about so many things. And uh, hopefully, with time, I will start so many things. Not only this farming, other different different type of farming. And I will share with you guys to see how I do it in my own farm, in my own time. Now, let, let me try to cause a little commotion in this one. When I throw this, they will run over it and they will try to grab it or even fight each other. You see? You see? You see? I love, I personally love geese. I don't know about you guys, but I just love them. I can't do without them. I like to see them. I like to see the way they are eating, the way they are opening their wing. The everything about them, I love them. I love them so much. Also do it. Trust me, everyone can do it. I do it, so you also can do it. Uh, 
So this is how I do it. And uh, if you guys have any question, you want to ask me about this farm, and if you have any interest topic you want us to discuss about, please just write it under the comment section. Uh, also, to help us reach so many targets, for every, everyone out there to learn this kind of farming, help us to like, subscribe, and comment under the comment section so that we can know you guys are following us all the time so that you guys can encourage us to do many videos to post a lot of videos under the under our page isa musa poultry farm or under our uh, YouTube, uh or, or under our facebook channel uh, isa musa poultry farm our page under isa musa poultry farm on youtube or on facebook you can follow us try to communicate with us and we'll try to reach out to help you in your own farm as well so this is Isamusa Poultry Farm.